I was walking around campus and I kept seeing all these flyers and posters with these people wearing these bright orange <laughs> life vests and I don't know, I just stopped to read it and I was like, hmm, mud, Gulf of Mexico, 10 weeks. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Right. What? At the root, research is about asking questions and learning how to answer those questions and gaining the skills to answer those questions. The work that we're doing here is basically asking what is natural in the sea. We're going miles off the beach. We're going all the way out to the oil platforms and the oil mining drills. We're collecting uh, live and dead assemblages of marine bivalves. And in that way we can see differences between then and now, even though we don't have data from before. And so they provide us with this window into environmental history and our interactions with the environment that we wouldn't otherwise have available to us. We're pioneering how we're going to look at fossils. And by using that information, we can better prepare for what the world is going to have due to climate change and other disruptions. One of the challenges off the bat is that we don't necessarily know what we'll, what we'll find on the seafloor. You know, having the first box core come up and it being a bunch of like clay, so you know that you, you're gonna have to sieve <laughs> a lot. Um, that whole day. <laughs> it's hot and there was a lot of work, but it was also incredibly gratifying. They have an opportunity to generate new knowledge themselves working in close collaboration with a faculty member. And that experience is unique. They could be science students at many other institutions where the research is essentially left up to the faculty or to the graduate students, but here they're right there um, immersed in it themselves almost from day one. This uh, opportunity allows us to be, be part of every part of the research. It wasn't just we get all these samples um, from other people who collected them. We were the ones who went out there and collected it, and now we're the ones who have to go through it. And that will help me know how to do more research when I want to do independent research on my own. There's amazing opportunities here. The fact that it's a small college lets you really get to know your professor and create a relationship that will lead you down whatever career path that you want to go to. I think a lot of the value to me comes from the experience doing the research, being able to go out in the field, working with a professor, watching the scientific process. You get a lot of good experiences from doing the research and that brings you the results as well. I love walking down to the beach with them and especially with Paul because he's so like he's a beachcomber so he like shows us how to like see stuff on the sand that we wouldn't normally get to see. Um, and it's just really fun because we all get to learn these things and like experience these things together. As a student, I'm gaining experience that you know I never had. This is my first time ever doing research. Professor Harnick, now, now I call him Paul. The fact that we create this relationship, it's almost like a mentorship. It almost feels like a family sometimes. It, it's, it's funny to think about it that way, but it's like we're all living in this house, we're working together, and it's like almost like a family. We care about each other. Being able to do the things you love in the places you love, and also being able to apply it to the world and like make a difference eventually. I'm doing things that I never could have done in any other school. And I just feel like I'm ready to take on any challenge because of the way FNM pushes me to be great.